power is defined as being the work done divided by the time taken and therefore this can be rearranged that work done is equal to power times time where power is in watts or joules per second work done is in joules and time is in seconds to work out the power of a moving object we can use the fact that power is equal to tractive force or driving force multiplied by the velocity of the object It is tempting in these kind of questions to try and apply the SUVAT formula. However, one needs to be very careful. If the power of the engine is constant and the velocity is changing, that means the tractive force or driving force is changing. And if that driving force is changing, it means there's no constant force acting. Therefore, there's no constant acceleration. And hence, the SUVAT equations cannot be applied. We first of all need to work out the driving force or tractive force of the cyclist and because there's no acceleration then the driving force will just equal the resistance. The rate at which the cyclist can work is the power of the cyclist so we can just use that power is equal to tractive force times velocity to work out the power of the cyclist. To find the acceleration, we need to know the tractive force initially. Therefore, we can use power is tractive force times velocity to evaluate the tractive force. We can now apply Newton's second law, so the resultant force acting in the direction of the acceleration equals ma, and therefore we can find the acceleration. At maximum speed, there will be no acceleration, and this means we can work out the driving force or the tractive force of the vehicle. Then to find the maximum speed, we just use the fact that power is equal to tractive force times velocity. We first of all need to find the tractive force of the vehicle. Since it's going at maximum speed, there's no acceleration, so the tractive force is just equal to the resistance. The rate at which the engine of the car is working is the power of the engine, so we can just use power equals tractive force times velocity to evaluate this. The car is now ascending a slope where the angle of inclination is such that sine alpha equals 1 over 49. Maximum speed means the acceleration is zero, therefore the tractive force is equal to the resisting force plus the component of the weight parallel to the surface. To find the maximum speed, we can just use power is tractive force times velocity.